Hi students, in this session we will learn one a new concept called function of C programming which is of last chapter called advanced features of C. So before going into details of this function, I will say what is the importance of functions. Hmm. See, a programmer uh, might write a lengthy program, but program do not make sense if the program is uh, if program cannot be understood by others. Okay, so the capability of a programmer is measured in terms of a readable program mm. with clear functions, not with the length of the program. Okay, so always it is better when you are writing a program, divide that program into small, small units. Okay, let's have an example. Suppose you have a problem. Okay, to solve that problem, I have a divided into some modules to solve that problem called so program. Instead of doing solve the complete program at a time, what I did is I divided into sub program. By which I can uh, easily solve that problem. Hmm. I can design a logic for this module, this sub program. I can design a logic for this sub problem. Likewise. Okay. Finally. Solution to this sub pro pro program will integrate and max result. Okay. These sub programs are nothing but functions. These sub programs are nothing but. This method is called divide and conquer method. This method is called divide and where we divide the problem into different different modules and finally we integrate all the solutions and get the result. Okay. So <clears throat> now we will go to the details of function. So function is a sub program. I think you all must have acquainted with the, the at least one function. You know in C programming, you must have at least one function that is main function. We have already used main functions. <coughs> in C language, there are two types of functions. There are One is built-in built function or also called as predefined function.
second one is user defined functions what exactly built in function how it works what exactly user defined function we will see one by one first we will see built in function <coughs> Built-in function is also called as a library function. These are also called as library function and these are uh, already included in compiler package. <coughs> Example printf function, scanf function, power function. sign function these are all these all are called predefined functions means these functions are already pre defined these functions function declaration function definition are already in the header files you just need to do all right header files in the preprocessor directives header files for the printf and scanf function is stdio.h and the header files for power function sine function cosine function is math.h If you are using this uh, this kind of function, then you don't need to uh, declare function or define function. Already is defined. You just need to use the header files in the preprocessor relatives like as in group stdio.h. Okay. Okay, now we will see the second function called user defined function. User defined functions are defined or created by the user as per the requirement of the program these are created by the user or you can say programmer as per the requirement of program <coughs> okay so as predefined function has name so user defined functions also have some specific name okay you have to give that name to giving that name rule is i think you must have known with the creating variable how you are creating variable same rule is applied for creating function name okay means a function name should not be matched with the 32 keywords it should not contain a 
special character like same rule is applied for creating this function name also okay we have created a uh, function name wall hmm. then we have to use an int program so to use this function in uh, the program you have to uh, declare ok so to use user defined function user defined function means user a program is creating that function that is not in any compiler package so for that to use a user defined function you have to follow three rules to use user defined function in a program you have to follow that rule rule r first rule you have to declare that function second one function call I will say what function call is third one is function definition okay first we will see what exactly function definition what is the syntax for declaring a function okay function declaration syntax for declaration of function a return type you can write in uh, other form return type function name data type data type Okay, so for a user defined function, you have to declare a function above the main function. Remember, always the function declaration should be above the main function ok next we will see 
the function uh, sorry function call syntax for function call function name simply variable variable as a argument okay and function call should be always inside main function third one function definition syntax for function definition is return type function name data type these are the arguments okay so the logic for a uh, any function is written inside this function definition okay so i will give one example where we can understand all the concepts of function calling function definition and declaration okay write a c program to add to number using function here we'll create a user defined function okay
So we have used a scanner function to give input through keyboard. Okay, this is the complete program. Let us understand. See, I have written a program to add two number using function. See, here, <coughs> add is the function I have created. This is called user defined function. Add. Function name is function name which I have created to add to number okay see so to use that user defined function you have to follow the three three rule means you have to declare this is the declaration of a variable this is the sorry sorry declaration of function function declaration This is the function call. This is the function function definition. <coughs> okay, first I have declared add is the function text to argument of integer type of data and returns integer ok I think you all know the compiler starts from main function and ends with the main function only compiler doesn't go outside the main function whatever he does is inside this main function only ok but the function we are using add is defined outside the main function so how will it do so to work on this uh, function definition we have to use a reference inside the main function ok that reference will call that function definition that reference is nothing but a function call ok so see I have declared two variable suppose three variable a, b, c, sum sum is assigned with a 0 next print f enter value of a and b using scanf Suppose we entered a value of a and b as suppose 10 
be with 20. See, next line. <coughs> what is it written? Add A, B. Okay, where A and B are a variable with the value given 10 and 20. Add the function. Whenever this function is hit, at, this is called curling function, the cursor moves to the function definition where the function definition is written. Okay, so cursor immediately moves to this function definition and the value present in the corresponding parameters are passed to that variable means here value of a is 10 or value of b is 20 is passed to the corresponding variable means now in x we have a 10 in y we have 20 ok now I will declare one variable called z this will perform addition x plus y the value is stored in z so z will store 10 plus 20 30 ok <coughs> So this is all about the function, how it exactly works. So if you are writing uh, any user defined functions, then you have to declare, you have to write function definition means where the actual logic is present means my question is to add two number, actual addition is performed here. Okay in function definition but compiler cannot access directly this uh, function definition so we use the reference reference as a function call which calls that function definition wherever maybe it will call and perform and finally it returns every time the function definition returns the value to the calling function means it, it will return z value 10 Z value is now 30, 30 is stored in sum. Now printed sum of the two number is sum of the output is sum of two number is 30. Okay. Thank you.